Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best deals and have the best experience at sneaker resale shops. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, tip number one, that is know your budget. When you come into a sneaker store, it's easy to get overwhelmed with all these crazy dope sneakers, the crazy price tags that you may see as you're looking at the shoes, flipping them over one by one. But what I'm telling you right now, when you know your budget, you can understand what's good in your price range. And then from there, you'll be able to understand if you're actually getting a good deal or not. But how do you even know if you're getting a good deal? That takes us to our next step. Step number two, you need to do your research. Research. You got to understand the prices and the fair market value of all these shoes before you come into the store. I get it. You're not going to know everything. There's a ton of different sneakers in every single store. But at the end of the day, if you have a baseline understanding of what the value is of a pair of shoes, it makes it a lot easier for you to now negotiate with the employees and the people here in the store because they're not going to just look at you as like some type of rookie that they can get over on and make a couple extra bucks on, but somebody that's more experienced and has a better understanding. And now you have more power when it comes to negotiations, which we'll talk about that a little bit later. Later. So don't be up in the store looking at stock eggs holding every single shoe trying to figure out what are these worth? What are those worth? What are these worth? I mean, come on, you know what I'm saying? Do that before you get to the store. That way you look like a pro when you get up in here. And if you can't remember everything, it's okay. Just try to be low key, a little discreet when you check the prices. You know, like pick up the shoe and then maybe a couple minutes later, check the price and then walk back to the shoe. You know, it just, it may look like you're just texting somebody back, but really you're actually looking up what the shoe is worth and then seeing if you want to pay that price or not. All right, tip number three, you got to make a sneaker hit list. No matter if you just started collecting or you've been collecting for a long time, trust me when I tell you, this is very very important it's easy to walk into a sneaker store see so many shoes get off track yeah you got your budget you got everything figured out but then you're like bro I don't even know what I want to get what am I looking for what's coming out recently what's coming out soon what do I got that I need from the past what shoe collection am I trying to complete for example let me show you guys real quick I actually have the Dornbecker collection. I had the whole collection, then I got rid of a couple shoes. I forgot which ones I got rid of, and now I have a little note in my phone that says Dornbecker collection. The fire emoji right here, those are all the shoes that I have. From the whole Dornbecker collection, I'm missing three shoes that I need to get in my collection. So because of that, when I go into a store, I say, hey, I'm looking for these shoes and this size and makes it a little bit easier for me if I'm on the hunt for that specific shoe. So always have a hit list, whether it's for collections or just things in general that you're looking for. It makes it a lot easier for you to stay on track and get those deals that you need. Tip number four, bring some cash. I'm telling you right now, this is king. We talked about this in the sneaker con video. Same thing when it comes to sneaker stores. And why do I say that? It's easier to negotiate when you got cash. The reason why it's easier to negotiate, they have card processing fees when it comes to the business and that means they have to pay a fee for the transaction if you can eliminate that processing fee in the transaction and they still get the same amount of money that they would have gotten and you can now save that money or potentially even get it for a little bit cheaper because of it these are going to be the things that help you get those discounts on the sneakers oh yeah by the way if you guys are looking to take your shoe game to a whole nother level and build a six-figure sneaker head collection i'm here for you guys i built a full program with the eight-week tutorial that breaks down everything that you need to know over all the stuff i've learned over the past 15 years and the best thing about it is we have a full community where we engage every single day with the community group chats and we have live meetups every single month where we go over goals and planning and helping each other grow their collections even buying real estate and taking ideas when it comes to loans and different property management as well so not only just sneakers but i want to help everybody grow in life so if that's something that you want to do hit the link down below in the description i would love to have you guys on the inside and again if you want to take your game to the next level i'm here for you let me know i'll see you guys over there tip number five talk to the employees this is very very important people walk into the store they're all quiet they're like intimidated i don't know what it may be you might be in your own little world and i get that you might just be shopping on a saturday you don't feel like talking to nobody get your headphones in yeah that's cool but if you want to build relationships with the stores and actually get those deals that you're looking to get these are going to be the best ways to do it but get to know them you have a lot of things in common we are all sneakerheads. yes that's one thing we have in common but we may like sports we may like food we may like something else outside of that bring up those things in the conversation conversations when you're talking to the employees at the stores you'll build that connection step number six post them on your social media it doesn't take that much effort to walk into the store take a photo post them on your story tag them on ig not only does this help show you that you're supporting the business and with them saying oh great we can repost that and help them out 
not all these businesses are big. No matter how much we may glorify a sneaker store and all those things, they're all considered to be small businesses. These aren't businesses that are doing billions of dollars in revenue. So at the end of the day, help the stores out. They're gonna love it. They're gonna appreciate it because not everybody that comes in, think about all the foot traffic that comes into a store. Not everybody's supporting them. So when you do that, it helps you stand out. And then the next thing you know, you say, hey, I remember that guy. He was the one that was posting on Instagram, supporting our business. He came to our store opening. He came to those things. Those type of things help you get the better deals, get you the lookouts when they're trying to get you an early pair of shoes or whatever it may be. All those little things play a huge factor. Step number seven, look for used shoes. I know some people may be too bougie to wear a pair of used shoes from a sneaker store. You can get shoes for a way better deal if you find used shoes. Now, for example, we're here at Untied LA. They have nothing but dead stock sneakers all throughout the entire store. But does that mean they don't have used shoes in the back? They just might. So you gotta go over there and you gotta ask them and say, hey, do you guys have used shoes? They might have some things in the back and it might be in your size. You guys have seen it plenty of times in my videos where I do what? Go back there, they got some old dusty pair of shoes and now I can actually clean up the shoe, get it for like 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Next thing you know, it's worth 250, 300 dollars. All right, tip number eight. You need to ask if the store does trades. This is very, very important. We talk about this all the time on the channel. It's pretty simple. Say for example, you got five pairs of shoes they're all worth a couple hundred bucks now you're looking at a thousand dollars well maybe the store is like hey we can sell those shoes we'll want to work some store credit or some trades and give you your grill that you're looking for you're looking to get the travis scott's or the off-whites or whatever it may be again not every store is up for it but if you don't ask you'll never get the opportunity to see if it's worth it or not. So I always say, ask the people if they do trades and come correct when it comes to the trades as well. Don't be coming and trying to bring some beat up Nike free runs or something like that. Like make sure you got a legitimate trades that are a good offer. Because look at this grail wall up here. They have a lot of bangers up here. And y'all done see me come through here, Soul Steels, bunch of different places and we didn't work some trades out. That's how I done got my Air Mags, that's how I got some Jordan 6 PEs, a bunch of Oregon PEs, a bunch of different options, comes through trades. So ask those questions, it's very, very important. Again, trust me, you'll love it because when the store says yes, you might just get your grills that you've always wanted. Tip number nine, look for shoes that are at or around the retail price. Now, you know the shoes that everybody likes to call bricks. You can get the same shoe, let's say for example, a pair of shoes, 190 bucks retail at Foot Locker. But you could come to a resale shop, they may have gotten a bunch of pairs in bulk and now actually selling them for right at the same price or lower. And now you can get those there compared to spending the money and buying them on StockX or Gold or whatever. And then you gotta pay the fees. Next thing you know, you bought it for that retail price plus all the fees tacked on and now you're paying it for that but if you buy it at the store that's what they actually have it marked at now depending on tax depending on where you're at you might have to pay that additionally but again if you add cash you might be able to cut some of those fees out as well for the card fees and then you could potentially get that shoe for even cheaper or they might even have the shoe for cheaper than the retail price originally all right the 10th and final tip you guys ask the store if they do sourcing now what exactly does that mean they have a huge network of a bunch of different sneaker stores. Typically, typically, most sneaker stores know a lot of other owners at other sneaker stores, and they're all friends with each other, and they help each other move inventory literally throughout the nation and throughout the world. And because of that, it gives them access to more sneakers. So if you ask them, say, hey, I'm looking for this pair of shoes, and they may have every size but your size, but they might know a friend with a store that does have them, and they can source the shoe and get it for you in a day or two days or next week or whatever it may be that's gonna be beneficial for you. So if you ask those questions, it can help you out a lot. But you gotta be ready to pay that money because the stores is not gonna take you serious if you're asking for this, asking for that, requesting this, requesting that, and the next thing you know, they're like, yo, we got the shoe for you, and then, then you don't go pay the money. And then you come back next time and they're like, I'm ready to buy the shoe. It's gonna be like boy who cried wolf. You gotta actually come in, come correct, be ready to pay and get the shoe that you want. When you do this, what's gonna happen? Again, they're gonna start finding stuff for you faster. They're gonna get you the stuff you need. And like I said, you got the hit list or whatever it may be. They're gonna be the stores that help you complete that hit list. We talked about that before. Build a relationship with a store. Work with, let's say three, maybe five different stores that you like. Go in there and build those relationships. Spend the money with those same exact stores. And as you build that up, they're gonna be coming through left and right. Every time, if you miss out on a release or if you're looking to get a good deal or you're trying to work that trade, it's hard to build that good, that plug deal with a new person every single time. 
But if you do it with the same people over and over and over again, it's gonna get better and better for you as you go throughout the time. Now, I know you guys are, you know, been collecting for a year, maybe two years, and some people have been collecting for a long time and haven't been doing these things. These are gonna be very beneficial to your sneaker collection, your, I don't know if you wanna call it your sneaker career or whatever you wanna call it, but it's gonna help you a lot in the long run as you build these relationships. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it. I hope this video was helpful and you guys got a lot of value from it. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna learn more or join the community, like I said earlier, hit the link down below in the description. I'll see y'all in another one. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA hey, The hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today one one I would one. never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA